last night I quote unquote ran 100K. There was a lot of walking involved because I did 100K on practically no training. The reason we do this is because we're out there testing the boundaries and learning. Hi, today's blog is don't try this at home. Um, I'm here at the um, Across the Years Ultra Run put on by Arrow Vampire Running Company. Big shout out to the Corey brothers and their great team of people and Jubilee the race director. Uh, but don't try this at home. I'm here because last night I quote unquote ran 100K. There was a lot of walking involved because I did 100K on practically no training. And that's what this is all about. Don't do this at home. So, the reason we do this is because we're out there testing the boundaries and learning from doing these kinds of crazy things that uh, test those boundaries because that's where you can learn. And by doing things that are not perfect, far from it, we can learn a lot. So yesterday I ran 100K and did this in 15 hours, 50 minutes, and uh, 53 seconds. Um, so there's a lot of walking involved. And it was difficult. There was a lot of discomfort. Uh, every, the discomfort was below the hips, uh, muscular, because I hadn't trained up. My muscles weren't ready for this sort of thing. But metabolically, I felt fine. I felt, feel fine this morning. Hunger is in control and, and actually not hungry. Uh, I feel great after a couple hours of sleep. And so the fat metabolism works and probably the reason I could do 100K, uh, but definitely you have to tra train up. So part of this is, is to show you guys that um, we need to plan realistic goals and then work to achieve them. Um, as well as guys like me out here burning a few matches and, and seeing how things work. So, you know, if I trained more, I probably would have done the 100K in a lot less time. Uh, I don't think the discomfort would be less because you just get faster. Just, so, it's a great day out here. Uh, and, um, yeah. Um, and part of the reason I'm here is to help out one of my athletes, Mark Sanderson, who's running the six day, and, and the guy did train, and he looks great. And then he lapped me several times, and just, he's motoring along, and here's a guy who's beat stage four lymphoma, and out there better than ever. Yeah. Anyway, that's what we're doing. We're testing these boundaries. Don't do this at home, um, but if you need a little help, this is what we do. We do these sort of things so you don't have to. Um, here's a little picture of what's going on here at the race. Uh, I think we got Camille Heron out here trying to set some sort of record. But um, once again, shout out to Air Vampire Running because they put on such a great event. All right. So once again, don't do this at home. Have a great time and let's work toward some achievable goals. Smash them and reach that health and performance potential. There I am, running up to Rucky Chucky Point. Let's take a look now, down there. That's the famous Rucky Chucky Rapids. We got a couple miles left going down to Rucky Chucky. I actually ran up that little steep hill using the quick chop step maneuver Jeff Pierce taught me. Falling forward and that dynamic balance. And just rolling along comfortably without any stress. Good stuff. So there we are. This is what my view looks like. Heading down the trail down to the Rucky Chucky aid station in the last two and a half mile climb up to Driver's Flat. Okay. So part of the OFM way is 
that lifestyle and having yourself in surroundings that are natural and away from, you know, things like EMF, stress, pollution, and that, you know, makes a difference on a number of levels that we're really not aware of. And here's just sort of like a panorama of where we are. Hey, Marco. And the trail running community is just wonderful. This is what it's all about on New Year's Day. What? A Being out in an amazing place like Cal Loop Trail here on the Western States with all our old time running buddies that we see on the trail. That's Marco Falcone, a board member of Western States. And just this is what it's all about because it takes the stressor away. And as I say, stress is as big a thing as the carbohydrates. This is actually where I thought I wanted to be and missed it. But this is a little rock peak. That's looking down the middle fork, looking east, the middle fork of the American. And this is the Cal Loop section of the Western States Trail. And here I am. As I say, I'm feeling great with only three days of recovery after running 100K on no training to speak of. Um, and yeah, I'm, my legs have a little bit of fatigue in them, but not the, to the point where I'm, I'm sore and I'm not able to run. I'm actually able to run quite comfortably, um, probably not at max pace, but actually surprisingly well and with no soreness, uh, no stiffness, and uh, just enjoying being out here on New Year's Day celebrating uh, what 2020 brings. And this system works because it's not that you recover faster. This lack of soreness is not that you actually physiologically recover faster. It's because you haven't done the damage in the first place. And this is the paradigm shift that I, I want to stress to everybody. And by not doing the damage, your body actually is focusing its physiology more on super compensation. And that is getting stronger from that adaptive stress of the physical uh, effort that I put out three days ago. So, I'm feeling really strong um, and getting stronger. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's working. No soreness and uh, no hunger. I just had tea with heavy cream this morning and a Vespa before and a Vespa just a minute ago. And um, probably won't eat till this afternoon uh, and uh, feel clean, feel like I'm getting all the food I've had in the last three days out of my system and it, it just works. What's that? <laughs> you, we got that thing. Ellen's sort of gasmic about these pyrolines. This is what's wonderful about this. We're all out here having a good time, serving coffee, enjoying the new year. This is, this is what the ultra running trail community is about. It's wonderful. So, have a great new year and think about getting your body to optimize its fat metabolism so you can reach your health and performance potential. Mm -hmm.